So Martha, thank you very much for joining our Library of Experience. Now Martha, you're one of our uh, co-opted members of the Europe Park Council. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about your background. Okay, thank you very much, Carol. Um, well, I, I studied biology in Spain, uh, especially ecology, mm -hmm. but I was always interested in the connection between nature and people. Of and what, is, what job are you doing in that field now? Um, well, I have the privilege of, of uh, being the director of the Europark Spanish office. Uh, we work also with a foundation uh, supported by universities. So my job is mainly trying to keep people enthusiastic <laughs> uh, to coordinate the efforts from the managers of protected, protected areas in Spain. So my job is uh, a lot of phone calls, mm -hmm. emails, mm -hmm. uh, preparing uh, workshops, um, preparing projects to get people involved. Great, great. Yeah, it was a not easy question because I think we are influenced by many, many things, things and sometimes you really don't know what was the key thing, probably many. But if I have to choose, I will mention a very special program that we had when we were, yeah, in the 70s uh, in Spain, we had a program called, in Spanish it's El Hombre y la Tierra, it's the men and the land. It was run by a very well-known person in Spain, Felix Rodríguez de la Fuente. He was really very influential for many people of my generation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this program was uh, still, is, is, uh, even for young people, it's not on TV anymore, but <laughs> it was very influential for many of, of, of people. And it's obviously stayed people. with you during your life. Yes, yes, until you can recognize the music mm -hmm. and the way he uh, talk about the things in nature and it very important. If you could go back and speak to your 20 year old Martha, what advice would you give her? Yeah, uh, well, that's, that's <laughs> difficult because I think we, um, we find our way anyway. Uh, I would say do your best with um, honesty again. Um, try to, to learn as much as you can, either following formal courses or training, and also looking for informal ways of learning uh, to be open mind. And um, yeah, don't ever give up. Mm -hmm. Just follow your wishes and and good luck, because yeah, sometimes you also need some luck. Yeah. So that's very good advice for, for young people who are coming into nature conservation uh, I hope uh, today. so, yeah. 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 Good. Yeah. Well, Marta, you answered 10 of our Library of Experiences um, <laughs> questions. The rest of them will be on the website, www.europark.org. So if you want to find out the rest of the answers to Marta's questions, please look online there. But Marta, thank you very much. Thank you.